with the recent hiring of Alonzo Highsmith at Miami, how do you view the general manager of football role in college football? And do you think it's going to be more prevalent in athletic departments moving forward? Absolutely, I do. Uh, this has been a couple of years in the making. I thought this was a good idea before NIL. Certainly think it's a good idea afterwards. And really, if you think about the classical general manager role, the general manager's there to do exactly what the job description says. Manage in a general capacity, oversee pretty much every facet of the operation, but also what does the general manager do at the NFL level? In the NFL, the general manager is handing, handling a lot of things uh, that aren't really in the purview of the head coach. It's not what the head coach specializes in. Now, at the college level, the reason some coaches prefer the college level is because they can have more control. The trade-off for going to the NFL sometimes is you don't have control. Some, some head coaches have very little say in who their franchise drafts or trades for. Some do, some don't. It's crapshoot. In college, the head coach makes all those calls, and they still will. They, it's not like a general manager comes in and, and overrules a head coach on whether they're going to offer a four-star tight end out of Mobile. That's not the way that works. But what can happen and what is happening, because I talk to some of these folks at the college level, is there are a lot of things on your plate now as a head coach that didn't even exist five years ago. Five years ago, if you're the head coach at Wyoming, or you're the head coach at Virginia Tech, and I were to say, hey, how are you doing handling the funds in your collective? What would you have said? You would have asked me what a collective was. That's what you would have done. Well, nowadays, it is a reality. A head coach who's gone through clinics and worked his way up the ranks for 20, 25 years as a grad assistant to a position coach, to a coordinator, to a lower level head coach, to now a, a mid-major and now a high level head coach, they never worried about that stuff. That's not their lane. They know how to get on a grease board. You know, they know how to build a recruiting board. They know how to make the call on third and four. They've gone through that. They haven't gone through a lot of this other stuff. And so instead of trying to relearn things, trying to teach the old dog in the mirror new tricks, you've got the resources available. Why don't you just go hire someone and then put all that on their plate and hire someone good enough where you can put it on their plate and then you can feel comfortable saying, all right, you're going to handle that, right? Good. I'm going to go over here and do these other things. And that's the role of a general manager now. A general manager is making sure day to day that roster management is in a state that it should be. They are tasked with making sure they monitor the transfer portal. If, you know, I need outside linebacker depth and a kid leaves Michigan State, I need to know about it. And I already need to have my general manager doing his due diligence, knowing who the, our contact is, who's our point of reference, what information and intel do we have. I've got a college scouting department now that that general manager should be overseeing. So the minute that outside linebacker in East Lansing goes into the portal, my college scouting department, headed up by my general manager, needs to be able to give me at least a bare bones scouting report on that kid so I can determine if he is paid state material. Do we want him or not? Those are some of the tip of the iceberg roles of a general manager, you can imagine. But the point is, you're trying to alleviate a lot of the stuff that has no business being on your plate as a head coach. And so that's what Mario's doing with Highsmith. Uh, that's what everybody's doing. Everybody, you can call them director of player personnel. You can call them director of football operations. You can call them general managers. Yes, there's a different skill set that is needed today in college athletics, specifically football, than was even needed a decade ago. What does that mean for... A real world person like the folks listening to this podcast well a lot of you ask how do I get in that world you could of course learn to talk and put together coherent sentences and maybe someone will put you on air you could learn to coach the game or maybe just maybe there is a skill set you possess that's coinciding with right place right time in college athletics and there are folks like you who are needed inside major operations and major college football programs. So I'd keep my eyes open. I'd pay attention to this stuff because a lot of you, a lot of you have always wanted to be in college football, but you've always thought, well, I just do this or I just do that. That has nothing to do with college football. It may now, it very well may now.